Hi everybody, David Saad here from skygems.ca. Thank you so much for joining me. I have on the turntable an absolutely marvelous 1.66 carat antique cushion cut IGI certified sapphire. This is a wonderful gem. Some stones, and I mean, you've probably heard me say it before, if you've watched a lot of my videos, and I know there are a lot of people who've watched a lot of my videos, and I thank you very, very much for that. Um, without your support, I wouldn't be here. I do have the best job in the entire world, so thank you for watching them all. Back to this gem. Uh, as I said, this is a stone that looks better in person. This stone is going to sell somebody to somebody who comes into the office and sees this stone because it's absolutely magnificent, but it doesn't translate uh, via photo or via video. It looks too dark, which it's not. Um, it looks, you can see there's a tiny little bit of uh, green color zoning in this that you can see from the back. The photos seem to bring that out in the worst possible way. So this particular stone is, I'm absolutely positive, only going to sell to somebody who comes in and views it in person. Now, if you do want to come in and view it in person, I'd love to have you into the office. You can reach me at davesod at gmail.com or via the website skygems.ca to make an appointment. As I was saying before, the gem has a IGI certificate. You can get a better view of that via the link in the description. There's also some more pictures there, but like I said, the pictures don't even do this justice. The only thing you're really getting to see out of the video is how beautiful the cutting is. You can see the proportions and the symmetry. Absolutely stunning. I have turned the gem onto its table here so you can see the symmetry a little bit better. This is a wonderful, wonderful stone. And again, I, you need to come in to see this in person because it's just so gorgeous and so rich and beautiful. And the stone just unfortunately doesn't translate uh, by pictures. This is an Ethiopian stone. I've actually found that Ethiopian stones in particular don't photograph amazingly well, which is probably the reason you don't see uh, too many of them around. I mean, it's also uh, newly rediscovered, so there's not a whole lot of uh, there's not a whole lot of stones around from Ethiopia at all. Uh, this is a mine that people thought was a myth, uh, or these are mines that people thought were a myth. Uh, they, there's writings about Ethiopian sapphire from over a thousand years ago, but people thought that it was a myth that they didn't exist because modern people hadn't found them. So I've now taken the gem off the turntable, put it into a pair of tweezers so I can show it to you a little bit more. As I was just saying, this is an Ethiopian gem. And remember earlier on I was saying about the uh, little bit of green color zoning? You can see it there. All right, but the in person you can see it, but from the front of the gem, you do not see it at all. Uh, that's due to very good cutting. That's, you know, they do this on purpose. They've been doing it for a very long time. Uh, this is mined in Ethiopia. This was cut in Sri Lanka. Uh, I know the miners and the cutters of this um, absolutely stunning piece really well cut like i said in uh mine in ethiopia it was cut in sri lanka and in sri lanka they've been cutting gems uninterrupted for at least ten thousand years um almost certainly longer they've been mining sapphires from sri lanka for uh, at least thirty thousand years there's there's evidence from about thirty thousand bc to uh, show mining of gems in Sri Lanka. So it's quite uh, quite an impressive history they have there. As I was saying about Ethiopian sapphire, people thought that uh, these mines were myths. Uh, they, they talked about the, the Ten Commandments being written on, on sapphire tablets and you know historians and, and modern humans with our hubris thought, oh well, you know, it couldn't have been written on a sapphire tablet because there weren't sapphires around um, that we found, and maybe it was lapis lazuli and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Now, again, this is a gorgeous stone, wonderfully, wonderfully clean. Uh, there are some inclusions visible under 10 times magnification, but it's an iClean gem. It's going to make a fantastic piece of jewelry. 
Take a look at that. I love, I mean, the cutting is amazing and, and just overall, it's a stunning stone. So if you have any questions, comments, please reach out. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day. And don't forget to tell your friends about skygems.ca. Bye-bye.